Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a mystery horror film, The Nameless Days. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The film begins with information about the Aztec calendar, which contained five days that belonged to no particular month. They called it the Nameless Days, during which the Aztecs believed dead spirits could return to Earth. The scene then cuts to the U.S.-Mexican border, where a cartel of immigrants arrives, including a brother and a pregnant sister. The traffickers instruct the young immigrant boy to go through the tunnel to see if anyone or any car is on the other side. If not, he will remain on the other side until they come to him. Although scared of the darkness in the tunnel, the boy enters the tunnel and soon they see him signaling that there are no cars or people over there. Before they can enter, the pregnant woman named Preggy informs her brother that her water is breaking, but Preggy has to endure the pain during that time. One of the traffickers leads the way to the tunnel when they suddenly hear screams and gunshots. Shortly after, the same trafficker exits the tunnel with a large horizontal cut on his stomach. The others drive away after seeing their comrade collapses to death, leaving the immigrants in fear for their lives while wondering what is in that tunnel. The scene changes track to Nicole, a teenager practicing for her sports, track, and field. She dismisses the border warning sign and runs to the house of her best friend named Ladybro, which is near the border. Nicole shares that her uncle wants to send her to a private school with one of the country's best track programs. She can stay in her uncle's house in San Diego, and he will pay for her finances. Lady Bro encourages her to pursue her dreams. After the chit-chat, Nickel runs back to their house, where she finds her dad fixing their truck while his friend, Victor, brags about his subscribers in his podcast. Nickel excuses herself to clean when her dad instructs her to feed their animals. As Nickel reaches their small farm, she sees bloody chicken feathers leading to the shelf. Nickel calls her dad to see the mess and jump the immigrants left. She finds some kind of totemic figure in the junk. This intrigues Victor, who's into ancient cultures. Later that day, Victor shares with his podcast listeners about the totemic figure and presents his friend, an aficionado of all things related to the dark and devilness. The totemic figure is an Aztec demon. The Aztecs believed that women who died in childbirth would turn into petrifying demons returning to Earth periodically to hunt for the thing they were denied in life, that is, a child. The immigrants bring this totemic figure, depicting this ancient demon, possibly for protection, as it is also believed to haunt crossroads areas, specifically borders. Nicole is listening to the podcast when her dad enters her room to tell her he's making supper. Before she can decide, Nicole receives a call and immediately closes the door to talk to Ladybro. As her dad is out, Nicole reveals that the call is actually from her uncle. He informs Nicole that he has sent out the paperwork she needs to answer for her to study in San Diego. Nickel lies to her uncle, saying that her dad allows her to study and pursue her passion. Nickel promptly ends the call and exits her room to check the mail, when she finds her dad in the living room, reading the paperwork from the school. Nickel gathers her courage and asks her dad for a talk, but he sarcastically rejects. Meanwhile, Preggy and her brother, Ra, hide in an abandoned military base as they see soldiers approaching. Preggy suggests turning themselves in and getting medical attention, but Ra refuses as the consequences of illegal migrants are heavy. Despite her objection, Ra distracts the soldiers away, and soon, a gunshot is heard in the air. Back with the dad, he resorts to alcohol while thinking about the paperwork. Nickel attempts to apologize and reason with him, but she only offends him by saying that her uncle only believes in her. Frustrated, he then promises to sign the paperwork if she truly believes she is a star enough to go on her own. Later that day, while in the shower, Nickel sees someone pass by the door. She wraps herself in a towel before taking her dad's shotgun to protect herself. She slowly walks into the kitchen, where she finds a man stealing canned goods. Nickel doesn't see his face clearly, but she can see him wearing cuffs. The man runs away when Nicole gets distracted by her dad's truck arriving. The dad and Victor enter the home and find her still holding the shotgun. Nicole tells them about the man that broke into the house, so her dad still takes the shotgun from her and searches the area. Victor reassures her that he got her dad before following him outside to find the man. As they are near the border, they find dead soldiers with their stomachs disemboweled. They return to the house and report the incident to the police. Victor explains how they ended up at the borders, so the U.S. border police ask Nicole for a description. She remembers the man as Hispanic in his early 20s and seemed scared more than anything. The police reassure them they will notify the Spanish authorities about the bodies and keep an eye out for the intruder. They also advise the three to stay away from the border, as there is a similar incident of disemboweled bodies reported a few days ago. The following day, the dad informs Nicole that he's going to be away for a couple of hours to get CCTV cameras from Victor's friend's shop. He reminds her to keep the doors and windows locked and stay inside while he's away. 
Nickel obeys his orders and instead has Lady Bro over. Nickel shares with her the last night's events. Their conversation gets interrupted when Nickel's dog continues to scratch the door. Although confused, they follow him outside to the shelf where they find Ra with a gunshot wound. Nickel recognizes him as the intruder from last night, while Lady Bro wants to report the immigrant as they can get in trouble. But Nickel tells her not to say anything to anyone, so Lady Bro reluctantly agrees before leaving her with a wounded Ra. Nickel cuts the cuff with a bolt cutter before taking Ra to their house and cleaning his wound. Although she doesn't know him, Nickel believes that Ra didn't kill the soldiers and advises him to go to a hospital. Ra refuses and shares about his pregnant sister. Since she saved his life, Ra reluctantly shares who really killed the soldiers last night. There is a myth in his home country Mexico about women returning from the grave to steal babies. Nickel cannot believe it as she has heard about the same thing last night from Victor's podcast. She shows him the totemic figure they found in the shed, and he informs her that it's called Coaxoc, who is a beautiful woman being sacrificed together with her unborn baby, but later returned as a demon to haunt the border. Later that day, while Ra and Nicole get to know each other more, they see her dad's truck's headlights. Nicole tells him not to make a noise before leaving her room and helps her dad carry some stuff. Nicole tells him about Lady Bro coming over to distract him, but the dog distracts the dad as it scratches Nicole's room door. Nickel tries to stop him from entering, but this only makes him more suspicious. Fortunately, all he finds is an open window, and he berates Nickel for it. Later that night, while her dad is asleep like a pig, Nickel sneaks out and checks the shed to look for Ra, but she fails. She then follows the shoe print on the mud and soon finds him bleeding again. Ra endures the pain and insists on finding his sister, so Nickel convinces him to come with her first, and they can look together for his sister. Nickel takes her dad's truck and takes Ra to Victor, who does first aid on his wound. Meanwhile, the three remaining immigrants with Ra and Preggy are in the middle of the woods, thinking of another way to cross the borders. However, a mysterious woman appears and disturbs them. When one of them pushes her away, the woman reveals herself as Coaxoc and attacks them with her long, sharp forefinger nail. Back at Victor's place, he opens his secret weaponry storage after knowing the Coaxoc. He gives them rifles, but Nickel points out that Coaxoc will not be killed by guns, as the soldiers have already tried it. So Victor calls his friend, before reminding Ra and Nickel to stay until he returns. Victor arrives at his friend's place in no time, while Ra and Nickel disobey his orders and go to the border to look for Preggy. Back with Victor, his friends inform him that the demons can only return to Earth during the nameless days in the Aztec calendar. Victor tells him about the disemboweled bodies the border police found. His friend replies that those five days might be over soon as Kovaxok searches for a baby to steal. However, they can't do anything but wait for days to be over because they can't kill something already dead. Meanwhile, Ra and Nicole are almost at the abandoned military base when Ra's wound starts bleeding again. So Nicole goes to search for Preggy. She finds her facing one of the walls while swaying her body. Nicole repeatedly calls her, but Preggy turns deaf ears until Nicole is near her. The woman finally turns around, revealing herself to be Coaxoc, prompting her to run away from there, and instructs Ra to run as well. They stop in a nearby rock formation as Ra's wound gets more painful. Just then, Coaxoc appears, prompting them to part ways as Nickel runs for her life. However, she returns as she sees a light going on and off from a tunnel. Although scared, Nickel goes down and finds Preggy holding her baby while turning on and off the flashlight. Preggy calms down after seeing her, when Nickel's phone suddenly rings as she receives a call from Victor. The coke Soch slowly enters the tunnel and approaches them, causing them to panic. So to save them, Nickel distracts Coaxoc by running out from the tunnel, but falls and gets knocked out. Preggy is in fear for her baby's life as it refuses to stop crying. Fortunately, Ra appears and helps them escape. Meanwhile, Nickel wakes up in an old gold mine and finds Coaxoc standing before her. Not long after, Ra and Preggy appear from above and distract Coaxoc with the baby, allowing Nickel to push her into a tunnel. Later on, Nickel returns home with the two siblings and the baby. Her dad refuses to believe that an Aztec demon is haunting them, but Nickel explains that the disemboweled bodies they found are Coaxoc's doing to look for babies to steal. This prompts her dad to confess something. In the past, one of Nicole's uncles was found with his stomach open in the snow by the border. There was no suspect or any clue on who did it. On the other hand, Victor is on the way home when he sees a glimpse of Coaxoc. She returns to the dark as she sees the car stop, so Victor exits the vehicle and searches for her. He finds her afar, with her long nail sharp nail, ready to cut his stomach open. Meanwhile, the dad apologizes for his reaction and returns the signed paperwork to Nicole. 
Although it breaks his heart that his only daughter's gonna be away, he wants Nicole to be happy. Their conversation gets interrupted when Lady Bro enters, so the dad excuses himself. Lady Bro suggests going with Nicole to San Diego to pursue their dreams together, but Nicole says she will think about it. This is enough for Lady Bro, so she leaves to return home. Nicole returns to the living room when they see the motion detector lights on the front porch go off. The dad checks the CCTV through his laptop, and he can only stop Nicole from bursting out as she sees her friend dead on the cold ground. Sensing the danger, he instructs the two siblings to use the crawlspace leading outside if Koaksok manages to enter the home. He takes them to the walk-in closet and locks the door to protect them from Koaksok. The dad turns on the radio to cover the baby's cries and fires shots at the air conditioner after seeing a shadow pass by. After that, he goes outside to check, while Nickel opens the crawlspace and instructs the two siblings to enter. Nickel finds the holes in the air conditioner. She searches for her dad, only to find him on the porch, with his stomach cut open. The dying dad tearfully apologizes for not being a good father, and encourages Nickel that she can do anything, and she must save the baby. Meanwhile, Ra and Prey panic after seeing Koaksok in the crawlspace. They quickly get out of there, and run as Koaksok chases them. Fortunately, Nicole runs over Koaxok with her dad's truck, allowing the two to get in the vehicle before Nicole driving away. However, they stop afar as it runs out of oil because of the punctured oil pan. While Nicole tells them they need to patch it up with metal epoxy, Koaxok sneakily steals the asleep baby. Preggy soon discovers it and panicky searches for her child. She finds Koaxok down the road with her baby, so she attempts to get it back. However, Koaxok refuses to let go of it and cuts Preggy's stomach open. Nevertheless, they forcefully take the baby back, and Nickel threatens to kill the baby, scaring Koaxok as she wants that child alive. She reluctantly backs off, so Ra ties the baby to Nicole before escaping, leaving his dead sister. After that, Nicole instructs Ra to fix the truck and meet her back at Victor's place. Ra does as he is told, while Nicole arrives safely at Victor's place. However, she soon hears Koaxok's footsteps on the porch, so she has no choice but to run again with the baby. Simultaneously, Ra fixes the truck and drives to Victor's place. The sun almost arises when Nicole drops to the top of the hill from exhaustion, allowing Koksok to steal the baby. To his surprise, Ra arrives at Victor's place and finds the baby safe and hidden in the secret weaponry storage. Meanwhile, Koaxok discovers that she's been tricked after seeing the goat rather than the baby, so she turns to Nicole to kill her. However, the sun rises, prompting Koksok to vanish into ashes, as the nameless days are finally over. The film ends with an exhausted Nicole arriving at Victor's place, where she reunites with Ra and the baby. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.